Okay, so we just got a huge announcement for a Sonic Generations remaster that is now featuring an entirely new section of the game dedicated to Shadow the Hedgehog. And all of this is just insane. So th there's a lot to go over today. We're gonna analyze the announcement trailer and talk about what I like, what I didn't like, and all the cool stuff that may or may not come from this remaster. And of course, if you're new here, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with the bell like the Giga Chad you are. And with that said, I'm going to play my reaction to the trailer first before we get into the full analysis of it. If you want to skip my reaction and go straight to the analysis, there are timestamps available for you to choose from. Anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so I just paused this stream five seconds ago, so now we're gonna watch the trailer for the Sonic Generations remaster. I have no idea what's coming, so uh, let's react together. It looks the exact same. I mean, the exact same isn't a bad thing, necessarily. I mean, that's... It is the exact same. Oh, there's Shadow. I, I, I can't even act surprised because I saw the leaks like yesterday, so... Oh. That's different. This is very different. They're referencing Shadow the Hedgehog, bro, and I, I think I saw, like, Final Rush back there, or Final Chase. Is that Radical Highway? These graphics are actually insane, too. Bio-Lizard. Okay. Okay. That was pretty cool. I don't know if I wish there was more to it. We kind of got a lot from there. We, we just saw the basic port of Sonic Generations, which honestly, that's a W. I'm got to rewatch and analyze it, but it looks pretty good to me. And honestly, not changing Sonic Generations is the right move. Anyways, let's move on to the analysis right now. Okay, so first and foremost, before we even get into analyzing this trailer, I do want to say that I am happy. I like what I saw from this trailer, and I think this is going to be a good Sonic release. Is it perfect? Well, not exactly. We'll get into that, but I do think this is going to be a W automatically. Because first off, the beginning of this trailer, there's not much for me to say. It's basically just showing some new Sonic Generations footage. I didn't see any differences there. I think Sonic's model was a bit different, but aside from that, it, it's basically just Sonic Generations on PC. It, it, there's no difference. I consider that a good thing. Sonic Generations is already a fantastic looking Sonic game. It is absolutely beautiful, so, you know, you, they didn't need to touch it up in any way. It's already a great looking game, so d don't fix what ain't broke, you know? From the looks of it, it seems like we're not getting a Sonic Colors Ultimate situation where there's gonna be vast changes to the game, it, it looks like it's just going to be Sonic Generations. Which may sound lame, but to be honest, I, I think all we needed was a port. We don't need a bunch of changes, we don't need it to look insanely different or completely modern, it, it looks fine. And it looks like it plays fine too, it's basically just Sonic Generations, and if you haven't played that game, you're gonna have a blast playing this because it's one of the best 3D Sonic games. Even more so, it, it's one of the best Sonic games ever made, period. So I'm pretty excited for this. Not so much for myself because I, I don't really care about re-experiencing Sonic Generations again, but I'm excited for you guys. Because Sonic Generations is only available to PC and Xbox players, PlayStation players and Nintendo players are completely in the dark. It's been very inaccessible for a long time, so th this is their chance to finally let new Sonic fans play this game. And sure, it, it probably wouldn't be my first choice. There are so many other Sonic games that need a port desperately. Sonic Unleashed? is right there, and in that game has zero ports. There is only one system you can play that game on. Sonic Unleashed needed a port the most, let's be honest here, and I think we all kind of knew that. Or maybe even another game. I, I know I'm not a big fan of Sonic Heroes, but that game hasn't been ported ever, and there's a lot of Sonic fans who haven't played Sonic Heroes, and it's one of the best-selling games of the franchise. It should be ported. Even then, the Sonic Adventure games, the Sonic Rush games, there's so many better ideas for ports. I, I don't want it to sound like I'm mad or upset, 
upset or anything. I, I think porting Sonic Generations was a great idea. I think I even said that in my 2024 predictions video. I think it's a good idea for the brand, you know? Sonic Generations is that no-brainer port. I hope in the future, the next game they remaster is Sonic Unleashed. It, it desperately needs it, and I can't stress that enough. Okay, but the, the second half of this trailer is where all the cool stuff goes down. You have Shadow just jump in on this CGI sequence, and it, it, was, it was pretty cool. You almost don't notice when it switches from an old CGI cutscene to a new CGI cutscene. They, they executed this trailer extremely well. So the first thing we see when we get to the shadow section of the trailer is him going down this rail in space. It almost looks like Final Rush or Final Chase, which is extremely cool because I think that was an iconic level that kind of got left out in Sonic Generations. Understandably so, let's be honest, City Escape is far more iconic than Final Rush, but it's still like an amazing level. I'm happy it's coming back in some sort of way. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, t two things I notice about th this footage here. Number one, the, the first thing I noticed was that the level design is kind of mid. It's the first thing I noticed. Like, it's just a straight line. There's not much going on. This is definitely not Sonic Generation's quality level design, so d don't get your hopes up for this. This seems like the same level designers that made Sonic Frontiers and Sonic Forces, so I'm not expecting a whole lot, and from seeing this trailer, it doesn't look like a whole lot. So Something else I noticed is that it doesn't look like Sonic Generations. In the previous footage, it was just one-to-one -one Sonic Generations, like no changes pretty much. But when we get to the shadow part, it feels like a different game. Not only are the graphics better, but also it, it, Shadow kind of moves differently. I don't know if you guys notice this, but like Shadow has a weird wind up after he homing attacks, almost like it's being built with the Sonic Frontiers engine. I don't know how to describe it, but it looks like this was built with the cyberspace mechanics. I admit, maybe I'm crazy, but it, it looks like Frontiers. But anyways, the, the trailer keeps moving on. We get to see the, the eye starfish guy from Shadow the Hedgehog, the game. I, I don't remember anything from that story because my, my brain was doing pretzels when when I played that game. But yeah, Shadow's chasing him. I guess they're referencing Shadow the Hedgehog, which might be a bad thing because that story was questionable. And also in this cutscene, we get to see Shadow running down the hallway as it falls apart and it looks like reality is shattering. Weird comparison, I know, but it kind of reminds me of Spider-Verse and especially No Way Home in the way that this entire cutscene is just structured. Definitely getting some Spider-Man vibes vibes from this. Then again, in the next scene, we get to see Shadow running through Radical Highway, which, again, the level design looks very bland here. It's just straight lines. I, I don't even know what I expected. I'm gonna be honest with you, like, no, no hate to modern day Sonic Team. They, they killed it with Sonic Frontiers, but they, they just cannot make good boost levels. And maybe I'll change my mind once I play it, but every time I see them make a new boost game, it's, it's always straight lines. It's the same thing over and over again. So I I, I feel numb to this at this point. I think it'll at least be better than Sonic Forces, but we're, we're gonna have another cyberspace situation here, I'm expecting. Which, in all honesty, I feel like I should be more upset at this, but I, I'm not that upset, and I'll get into why later on in the video. And last, but certainly not least, we get to see Shadow kill some enemies, which, again, looks like Sonic Frontiers gameplay. And then also, we have this section where Shadow fights the Bio-Lizard, because the Bio-Lizard is back, it returns. This looks like a Sonic Sonic Omens type boss arena, I'm gonna be honest with you. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, uh, unless it plays like Sonic Omens, then it will be a bad thing. But again, it just feels like it's not Sonic Generations, this feels like a, a different game. Maybe I'm wrong and it's just how the person decided to play the game for this trailer, but it doesn't look like it's from Sonic Generations, which tells me that it's not going to be attached to the game, but rather it's going to be a separate downloadable type game. Almost like a game collection. You get to choose Sonic Generations or Sonic X Shadow. Okay, wait, so I, I just rewatched some of the footage and Shadow's jump ball is the same as the one from Sonic Frontiers. I, I, I'm calling it right now. Th this is not Sonic Generations gameplay. Th this is fully Frontiers ported. This is Frontiers gameplay ported into a Sonic Generations remaster that they just built shadow levels on top of it. So what's my opinion on this? 
Yeah. Here's the thing, it depends on the price point. If this game is 60 bucks, then uh, yeah, d don't buy this, that is too overpriced. Even $40, I'm kind of just iffy on because I, I I don't know, it still doesn't look like it's worth 40 bucks. I think $20 to $30 is the sweet range, but they're probably gonna go with the $40 price tag. Which you know me, I'm a Sonic tuber, I'm gonna I'm gonna suck it up and eventually buy it because you know it's my job. I I don't know, I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed by the shadow portion it doesn't look that fun i'm gonna be honest it just looks like more cyberspace i i just don't feel myself caring that much because look man it's been three sonic games in a row where the boosting gameplay has just been straight lines whenever it's original level design and i i'm just getting I'm getting tired of it. I understand that's not the same developers that made these Sonic Generations or Sonic Unleashed level design, but I, I, I wish it was. I miss that level design. That was the good stuff, but you know, we're, we're here. Now, earlier I said I'm not too upset, and that's because I think the remaster itself is going to be great. Again, it comes down to price points, but for the remaster section of the game that is just Sonic Generations ported, it actually looks good. It looks like Sega genuinely executed this port without any issues, which is far better than what they did with Sonic Colors Ultimate, even though I liked a lot of aspects of Sonic Colors Ultimate. It, it certainly was varying in its quality, and while this remaster hasn't added as much as the Colors remaster, it looks like a safe bet. And that's what we need from Sonic. We need safe bets, not games that look bad and we just hope are good. So that's why I'm not too upset about the Shadow portion. In reality, we got Sonic Generations ported, and that's the most important part of this entire announcement. The Shadow stuff is just a bonus in my eyes, so I don't really care about it, but hey, new fans! Welcome to Sonic Generations. You're gonna love the game when it releases uh, autumn 2024. You're gonna have a blast. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna make some Sonic Generations content. I'm gonna have fun. And with that said, that's all I have to say for today. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with the bell. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. Peace out. My chill members are Snack Pigeon, Sonopedia, Archer XYZ, Sonic Man 715, Francis T218, Neil. David J. Chavaz, Super Shacks Boom, Pi Studio, Snicks, Bananas, Chip Chap Chop, The Squeaker Nerd, and Super Saiyan Sonic. Thank you all for supporting my channel. Make sure to click one of the in card screen videos here. Love you guys. Peace out.